I'm Matt Bichot with REIT.com here in Chicago for REIT Week 2013. With me today is Larry Raymond, founder and CEO of LDR Capital Management. Larry, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Now, I wanted to start by talking about the Federal Reserve's monetary policy and how you feel it's impacted the REIT capital markets, you know, with REITs trading at elevated price-to-earnings multiples. Has this affected their cost of capital? For sure. Monetary easing has caused a considerable decline in cost of capital for REITs across each and every property type across all of the regions, both debt costs, preferred capital costs, as well as equity capital costs have declined, which has enabled fluidity of capital into the companies to grow their businesses. And we've seen some REIT uh, M&A in terms of large companies, you know, most recently right before the conference started, MAA and um, uh, Colonial. Um, are you surprised that there haven't been more like more deals like this, or may this be a sign that, that more are coming? Well, certain property sectors are consolidated down to a fabulous degree already. As an example, the regional mall area has been consolidated to a significant area, a considerable amount. But there are other property types that could have considerable consideration, uh, considerable consolidation, such as the net leased area, suburban office area, and some other kind of eclectic market concentrations where you could see more mergers and acquisitions. And what's your outlook for the IPO pipeline? Are there any sectors in particular that you think we may see a number of new entrants? A lot of the peripheral real estate categories are seeing migration into the REIT space, both from existing public companies, but we would likely see some initial public offerings of private enterprises turning themselves public into a REIT format as well. Larry, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com. <music>